Okay, we're talking about the vote. The, 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 the freedom of every American citizen in the United States of America for this flag and for our national freedom is that we get to vote. Now, we have got voter fraud and voter irregularity. Do we need national voter reform? Hello! Here's a shout out to Jacob Soveroff at uh, Y Tuesday. He's been saying it all this year and before. And folks, this country has the right to have a voting system that is the same for every state and for every person that is voting on someone that has to do with the presidency and national voting. Anybody that's in the national limelight that we are voting for, we have the right to vote on the same system in the same language, which happens to be English, which is the language of the land and should be. And we should all have to show a driver license or picture ID, some legal form of identification. And if we are not citizens of this country, then we shouldn't be allowed to vote. And we shouldn't have the rules changed in Ohio and then changed in, in, in Virginia or California or Nevada. The rules should be the same everywhere because we're all voting for the same office, whether it's president, senate, congress, whatever. Now, not only should it be the same, it shouldn't be, oh, we're going to have hurry up and get a bunch of people in here to pre-register and vote on the same day for one week, but then we're going to go back and do this, then we're going to do that. And we shouldn't have people like Acorn and its finger subsidiaries, which are many, 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 who are known for their fraud, their, their constant cheating on the voting uh, registration and uh, pressuring people to do bad loans, pressuring people to vote for their candidate. They, we know they support Democrats. We know that uh, government money and our tax money goes to all these people who are known to support groups, including Barack Obama. We know he helped train people in these voter programs. We know that Bill Ayers, the domestic terrorist, actually had Barack Obama administer funds to all these different groups at times, which ties them together. Man, this is just wrong. This is America. We don't work with terrorists. We don't work with people who stomp on the American flag. We do not work with radical left people so far radical that they don't stand for what we stand for. And this voter reform needs to be uniform so that every one of us is protected. And this garbage doesn't go on anymore. I don't want to eat no more acorns from acorn. I want it to be an American process that preserves the right of every citizen to vote. And it's being jeopardized. And I'm sad and I'm mad. Just like those guys in Wisconsin said. It's like wanting to take back the common sense of this nation. And this is, why are we even questioning if people didn't register on time by a specific deadline, why are we trying to make exceptions so Barack Obama can get some more people to vote even if they are drunk that day or whatever? We can't be that desperate that we push people into something that they normally would not have done. All the rest of us play by the rules. We register on time. We wait. We do what we're told. We show a dadgum driver's license. If we have to do it that way, so should everybody.